Hello and welcome to this episode of Diary of a Lawyer. And today I want to talk about briefly the legality of the tragic loss of life of a young man, a 30 year old man, Jordan Nilly, who was famously known for his uh, brilliant, entertaining um, version, impersonation of Michael Jackson dance. Sadly, reports, I think uh, around a day or so ago, reports of uh, John Daly, a recent case, losing his life in the New York subway, um, emerged after being recorded by uh, a journalist on a train, a video which is so tragic to watch. Um, I haven't even, you know, going to the actual footage because it's so tragic. And just to give you a brief context, is that um, it is reported that uh, uh, Jordan Nelly, 30 year old um, young black man, came onto the train and he said he was hung, hungry, was frustrated, he had no food, and he was ready to go to jail for a long sentence or ready to lose his life and he threw his jacket on the floor. But there's no reports whatsoever that he was either a threat to himself or others and nor did he interact with any other passengers or appear threatening to them. And then it's reported a 24-year-old white male who has not, whose name has not been reported, but it's reported that according to CNN and other media agencies, He's from Queens and he's an ex-Marine and his last known posting was in uh, Fort Lejeune, I think, in one of the Carolinas in the United States, who put him in a, a nature cold until, as the New York governor said, life, the life moments of his life were <sighs> snuffed out of him. Um, the authorities, detectives, interviewed uh, the, the white male who can only say killed Jordan Neely, um, but then released him. The mayor, Eric Adams, has been has come into uh, strong criticism regarding his policies on um, regarding his policies on homelessness, where he. Um, put forward an involuntary treatment, however that works, and other measures. But most importantly, his almost unequivocal lack of, uh, I mean, a lack of unequivocal condemnation of the uh, killing and loss of life of Jason Dilly, as opposed to um, other officials. And the public defender, the New York public defender, which is the office that speaks up for the public if they're against other um, apparent failures or missteps by uh, public officials, has unequivocally stated that failing to uh, call that out, condemn and bring uh, charges against the um, person responsible for the loss of life from the mayor um, is, uh, it gives encouragement to similar copycat acts, but also dehumanizes the, the life of a young black man, life of a, a person with mental health issues and who's also facing homelessness. And let's remember that almost uh, almost some of the most powerful position in New York are held by uh, black people. So the issue is, is uh, again, it's a tricky one um, where um, folks that are in powerful position and uh, either black or people of color um, could in some cases be um, alleged or, or, or said to behave in the same way. Um, um, if some uh, other folks of a different background were in office. So 
the Manhattan District Attorney is very now well known black male, um, and so is the New York Attorney General and the Mayor. So um, we shall see what's happened there. Uh, according to the the, the, the uh, district attorney saying they're investigating, they're conducting a thorough investigation. They are looking at, they're reviewing the uh, at the postmortem report, which uh, described the the uh, the loss of life as homicide. Um, they are saying they're looking at witnesses, uh, statements, uh, videos, photographs before they can make. Uh, a decision based on a thorough, thorough investigation. And so that, that's sort of the context. Now, obviously, campaigners and other uh, organizations have called for um, justice to be um, just, just to be brought, to be uh, held in honor of Jordan Neri and not to dismiss the fact that he was homeless and had mental health issues as one reason not to value his life. So, what would the charges look like? Now, uh, New York has uh, sort of a, uh, almost a complex uh, homicide uh, law that ranges from first degree to uh, various levels of degrees of homicide to various levels of manslaughter um, charges and offenses and they're all very specific in terms of intent uh, and sometimes factual background so uh, you know we're not going to go into through all of them but I think the key point here is uh, the you know the, that will probably determine, and I'm speculating here, is whether there was any sort of imminent risk to uh, other folks or the person involved who choked him death, whether it was reasonable, how long that happened, uh, whether there was any provocation, whether there was an element of self defense. Um, in level of intent uh, on, on him, knowing, especially being a, a former Marine and knowing, you know, arguably from training, the potential impact of such an act. Um, and all those factors will determine if A, there are charges, and B, if charges are there, what will be, depending on the levels, the various, um, uh, you know, hierarchy of, of, of homicides and the degrees uh, and whether it's manslaughter or, or, or uh, first degree murder or second third etc etc so all those are sort of the factors that um, a prosecutor will have to take into account in terms of the intent the, 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 the nature or the reasonableness of the act proportion to the level of danger and provocation to both themselves and the public and the actual person involved um, and the degree to which that was necessary um, and the duty to sort of retreat or um, lessen the danger of the chokehold uh, and so on and so forth. Um, we've had sort of some pronouncements by the governor uh, which appeared to indicate, I've got in news reports, that perhaps it, it, he was in Choco for far too long than necessary. And whether all that has any bearing on the thought processes of the uh, prosecutor is a matter for others to make the judgment. Uh, but yet again, or on yet another day, we hear. Um, Sadly, um, talking about a senseless loss of life, an innocent, unarmed black man in the United States um, who was simply calling out for help, was hungry and homeless and needed me mental um, medical care and he lost his life.
So um, hopefully we will we'll see what the Manhattan District Attorney comes up with. But there's already growing public pressure from advocates and the public advocate and campaigners to ensure that the justice has been served. The family have already uh, secured uh, the lawyers who said uh, along the lines, and I'm paraphrasing, that people on the sub shouting in the subway should not end up dead. I think that's a fitting, um, that's a fitting conclusion on the issue. And there we shall leave it on a rather sad note of uh, on the diary of the lawyer, and we shall wait to see how the Manhattan District Attorney um, reacts to what is increasingly global, national and public pressure over the loss of life of Jordan De Rest in peace, the famous Michael Jackson entertainer uh, who made people so happy, many people so happy. Uh, thank you and have a good weekend. We shall speak again.